So we made it to Ragusa yesterday. We've got locked down here in Italy. It's a really strange feeling being back on land after three and a half months of traveling around like floating gypsies. Look it up on YouTube. I have no idea what I'm doing. It should be a good idea to go and visit a bit. Io so como tutti. Welcome to this week's episode of Sailing Talia. Finding a place to moor your boat in winter can be challenging anywhere in the world. Calculating protection from the elements, access to quality boatyards and good chandleries, and then on top of that, the social element if you live aboard can be really tricky. After a lot of research earlier this year, we zeroed in on Marina di Ragusa, down on the south coast of Sicily. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one of our weekly installments as we show you what it's like to live on the sea. Hello everyone! So we made it to Ragusa yesterday and it is pretty magnificent here. I think we've chosen exactly the spot we wanted for uh, wintering this year. We've met already a bunch of the liverboards. The community here is very, very vibrant. Everyone is very eager to help out and get to know one another. And uh, we are already stocked up with so much information on local markets and restaurants and yeah. all bits and pieces. Now, unfortunately, we've got lockdown here in Italy at the moment and Sicily's in the orange zone which means restaurants and bars are closed at the moment to uh, serve indoors but they're all open for takeaway which is fine we can still get our espresso and cannoli right and last night we got a pizza oh man they have the best pizzas here ever <laughs> So, to celebrate our final arrival in Ragusa, in Sicily, it makes sense, right? Voila. Traditional, real Italian pizza. Let's get this started, babe. It's ah. not good for my weight, but... Oh, look, it's, it's okay. <laughs> We're in Italy. We're allowed to fatten up a little bit, right? I guess. But what's nice is that there's a beach next door and we can go for a run. Now we don't have any excuse. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of a bit of fitness, we're going to head over now to the, uh, the weekly market and see if we can find some fresh fruit and veg. Yep. Let's do it. Hazelnut, or is it a walnut? I always forget. Good. Delicious. So we've just discovered that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. They have a cruiser's net on VHF 77, which is a perfect opportunity to share any, any information or if somebody needs help or just want to share something. Yeah. Something for sale, yeah. something for exchange, uh, services as well. If somebody's particularly good at, I don't know, restitching sales <laughs> or fiberglass work, they can advertise their trade there. Uh, so we're looking forward to tuning in When's the next one? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. And also there's a Facebook group for liverboards, which yep. is quite convenient. You can tell there's a nice community. It's well organized yeah. here. And this is, this is cool. It's very cool. Law was just saying to think that we were 
almost going to stay in Trapani because we were concerned that the days were getting too short to make a proper day sails to get here when in fact we made it and uh, this is completely different to Trapani. Obviously Trapani is a bigger city and yeah, it's a lot more polluted and we would have been the only liverboards in the marina had we <laughs> stayed there. So uh, very very different experience that's for sure. So it's a really strange feeling being back on land after three and a half months of traveling around like floating gypsies. What this means is we need to dig out our land transportation which is the bikes that are hidden away in that storage cabin so deep that it's going to be a nightmare to dig those out but got to do what i got to do and it's time to go bike riding so what's in the aladdin's cave of our storage well come check it out everything from a folded up dinghy a very important heater for those cold winter nights our very important grab bag and of course some fresh water now deep within here within this cabin you can see one tire of one folded bike and then even further back somewhere in there which you probably can't see is the electric scooter So this is the afternoon now, we went to the market this morning, it was really nice. And then this afternoon I've started working on the next YouTube video. It really takes me a lot of time. I'll show you. This is a to-do list because I love to-do list. This is a list I've done hoping that it'll help Luke and I be sure we do what we have to do. I'm pretty satisfied with my work so far. I've done quite a lot. But look, it's another story. But like, he left for 30 minutes, an hour now. He went to the barber shop and then he went for coffee. And now he's talking with the neighbors. I hope he'll do it tomorrow. Finger crossed. Anyway, right now it's time for workout for me. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm laughing like that. <laughs> I know why you're laughing like that because I'm about to make a fool of myself. <laughs> so when we bought Talia it came with this knife and the former owner of this boat was a fisherman and we are attempting for the first time to cook fish <laughs> and when we bought the fish this afternoon how did it come? Full as package. A, as a full fish. <laughs> So it means we need to fillet the fish. So is it a, a knife for fish? Well, I don't think it's, so. It's, a, it's kind of like a wobbly knife. So I think that's, the, that's what you need to... If you say so. I, I have no job. idea what I'm, I'm doing. I'm actually very happy that you will take care of it. <laughs> yeah, for the record, I never volunteered for this. <laughs> I was... Uh, it was delegated. I was voluntold. Oh, I'm sure you'll be okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh, <no>. ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with food. All right. Babe, look it up on YouTube. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Turn the fish over and repeat the process. Hang on, everyone. Just stay cool. All right. With a knife, go around the collar of the fish and turn the knife and Oh. <laughs> Repeat the process. Okay, what next? Oh, he just sliced the tail oh. to head. Release the Hang on. The head, not the whole body. You cut it in half. Bleed. Seriously, the whole Teasing fish is cut in half. Life. Relax. Oh, Using the backbone as a guy. I could be a surgeon. <laughs> I could work in a hospital. 
I'm like Dr. House for fish. What? It's not really straight. They say teasing out the guts. There's not going to be much fish left. Shh. It's okay, we've got a small appetite. That's the guts, right? No, it's... I no, mean, it's not guts. Yeah, that's the guts. Is it? Well, then there's nothing to eat on that fish. Babe, don't... Th this is graphic. No one wants to see this. Two hours later. So we forgot to show you how the fish look after preparing it. Uh, there's still a piece in the plate right there. I'm not sure it's a big success for a first time. <laughs> I thought it was delicious. It was good? Yeah, just not the guts. They didn't taste so good. Oh well, it's a first experience. Good morning everyone! So it's been a week now that we are here in Marina Riragusa and we thought it should be a good idea to go and visit a bit Ragusa, the town that is 30 minutes drive from here. Apparently it's a nice town so can't wait to visit it. Buongiorno a tutti. Here we are in Ragusa and uh, this is the main town of Ragusa so we've traveled about 20 25 minutes up the hill. Ragusa town itself is on a really large limestone hill. It's situated between two large valleys, so the Santa Dominica and the uh, San Leonardo valleys. So there's a lot of uphill climbing, but it's worth it when you see amazing churches and architecture like this. The origins of Ragusa can be dated all the way back to the second millennium BC. The Ragusa you see today, however, dates almost entirely from 1693, as evidenced by its beautiful Baroque architecture. Why 1693, you ask? Well, it was in that year that Ragusa, along with its neighbours, Notto, Modica, Shikli and Catania, were razed to the ground in a terrible earthquake that hit most of the eastern side of Sicily. Public opinion on where to rebuild the town was divided so a compromise was made. The wealthier citizens built a new town in a different site, now known as Ragusa Superiore, while the other half of the population decided to rebuild on the original site, on a ridge at the bottom of the gorge, now known as Ragusa Ibla. The two towns remained separated until 1926, when they merged to become the main town of the province. <laughs> it is Sunday today and usually Sundays are days where you just relax and do nothing but not on board Talia exactly so today we've decided that we will clean the boat outside on the deck a couple of days ago we did it inside so we cleaned everything I wanted to show you how we clean the boat inside but I guess this is a bit boring so let's keep that part what we've got is a combination of shampoo and wax here together which is designed specifically for the fiberglass cover of the deck. Let's see if we can get a bit of shine out of it because after a season of cruising, the deck is looking pretty chalky and in some parts a little bit gross. So let's give this a try, cross our fingers, see how we go. Worst case scenario, we're also borrowing this tin from our neighbors, which is more of a polish. So it cuts into the fiberglass a little bit more just in case we have any stubborn stains or anything that we need to get a little bit deeper into the fiberglass to get rid of. So let's see. 
I went slightly over the recommended dosage for the shampoo. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah, this isn't a great strategy. Do we have something else that we can use? We really should have bought that net. So this is all clean. What's up guys? So uh, Monday morning and Monday morning in Ragusa means it's Cruises Net Day. So what the Cruises Net is, is essentially it's a network of the other liverboards here in the marina. And today, as an incentive to get people on board, they've organized bingo. Now, Laura and I thought that we would still have a few years left in us before we have to start playing bingo, but hey, it's okay, we can start early. Let's see how we go. As promised, to lighten the lockdown, we've got bingo. We did a fantastic, unbelievable day yesterday of selling 51 tickets. So we have a fantastic jackpot on our first bingo morning of 51 euros. Good luck, everybody. So, the first number is 61. The second number is 60, followed by B, 10. Next number is... Oh, 62. Tickety boo. Anybody get anywhere near yet? No. I, 24. Bingo! Excellent. Well done. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have today. We didn't win. <laughs> Not this time, but uh, that's okay. You know, it was actually won by one of the organizers of this game. <laughs> where in Sicily, the home of the Mafia, smells a little bit corrupt to me. <laughs> Only kidding, the very gracious winner decided to donate her prize money to another liverboard who'd lost his wallet the week earlier. Such is the generosity of this amazing sailing community. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our first reaction to this amazing corner of Sicily. If you want to see more of Sicily and our shift to life on the sea, hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up. In return, we'll be sure to send another video your way at the same time next week. We love making these videos for you and your encouragement each week makes all the difference. Thanks again and see you next Thursday 